Tim. Welcome to Watch One. And thanks for logging on. Today we are looking at the Jechier Lecoult Master Compressor Chronograph, 41.5 millimeters, entirely polished stainless steel. This Master Compressor Chronograph is, like all of the watches showcased on our YouTube channel, actual inventory available for immediate purchase and delivery on our retail website, watchyouwant.com. And if you like getting the latest news, views, and reviews of luxury watches in video format, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. In 2005, JLC released the Master Compressor Chronograph, arguably the definitive model within the Master Compressor line that revitalized the JLC sports watch catalog in the 2000s. And you can see on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, the watch fits beautifully. It fits flat. With its conical bezel, it can easily slip under a dress cup. Now only about 13 and a half millimeters thick, it wears even thinner, and because of that curved bezel, it has no trouble slipping under a tight sleeve, a dress cuff, or a long coat, a sport jacket, a blazer, good to go, all of them. The span of the lugs is nice and constrained. The watch is sort of a sweet spot for sports watch slash dress watch sizing. It definitely has the formality with the black dial, the full bracelet, and the white metal to work as a formal timepiece, but with 100 meter water resistance, that's 330 feet for those using imperial units, the watch is also exceptionally hardy. And on my wrist, you can see it's in no way in danger of overhanging the edges of my skin. If your wrist is as small as 15 centimeters in circumference, you're going to be able to wear this well with a lot of confidence and comfort. What this one brings to the table that's a little bit unusual is the complete JLC bracelet. You generally see these on an alligator strap, and while that's a fine piece, not only is the bracelet a unique looking piece, but it adds real value. Beautifully built, it is a three-link design, and each center link features brushed tops with striations to add visual differentiation and texture. The outer links are polished, so you have great contrast there, both in terms of the finish and in terms of the texturing. The clasp is of exceptional quality. Now, in the past, I've sung the praises of the twin trigger double deployant JLC clasps on other sports models, and I like it just as much in this application. Paired with the exceptionally high quality bracelet, this is an exceptionally secure mechanism. Both sides close with a polished snap, very sharp, very refined. Now you can see the outer finish polished in the center on the JL logo, brushed on the hoods of the actual folding pieces. Twin trigger means each side needs to have both triggers depressed to open up, so you've got absolute security and confidence here. This is not going to pop open like a friction fit. This is about as secure and buttoned down as it gets. And you can see the interior finishing is up to the standard of JLC. There's a little bit of beveling on the inner swing arms, and there's beautiful polishing on all aspects of this clasp. It does JLC proud, it's up to their standard, it honors their heritage, and what heritage? You can see one of their modern innovations, speaking of heritage, the Master Control Seal, 18 karat rose gold. This medallion used to signify a watch's compliance with the standards of the 40 plus day, 1000 hour master control process, meaning that the movement and the watch, cased together fully assembled, were subjected to positional, temperature, shock, magnetic variations to test its precision, its isochronism, and its durability at JLC's factory. Moreover, power reserve would have been tested. Watertight integrity would have been tested. Everything that makes this watch a superlative timer, as well as a durable sporting timepiece, would have been evaluated before the watch left the factory in Le Santier. And the Master 1000 Hours Control was really one of the first in-house standards to go above and beyond the chronometer standards of the COSC. It raised the bar for everyone. Basically, everyone in the Swiss watch industry has tried to copy it at the high end of the market today, but you can only ever be first once, and JLC includes this beautiful and romantic tribute to the significance of that process and its applicability to this exact watch right here. Now, the movement's part of JLC's caliber 750 family of modern chronographs. The first ever JLC in-house automatic chronograph caliber, it debuted in the early 2000s and it brought all of the innovations of modern JLC watchmaking, material science, and mechanical engineering into a single easy to use and rugged package. So it is a column wheel chronograph, and I'm going to start it up right here. But you can see when you start the chronograph, you have that tactile pleasure of the column wheel. Crisp, traditional watchmaking. You can also hear it. It's a nice, robust snap-snap. Crisp watchmaking, high precision, 
The harder, more expensive way to build a chronograph, a cam-operated system is cheaper and easier to mass manufacture, but JLC wasn't cutting corners. It's also a vertical clutch system, so you can see when I start the chronograph seconds hand, it simply moves into motion. It doesn't actually jump. There's no one and a half to two second jump or stagger as you'll see on a lateral clutch chronograph where the play between the teeth of the chronograph drivetrain leads the hand to jump forward, backwards, or stagger on start, stop, and reset. All is exceptionally precise, on the mark, instantaneous, and smooth with a vertical clutch. The other nice thing is with the vertical clutch, you can actually run the chronograph continuously with no hazard to the movement. So if you prefer to have constant seconds at the center with the hours and minutes, you can just run the chronograph continuously on the master compressor chronograph and not worry about wearing out a lateral clutch drivetrain. The vertical clutch is engaged, there's no play, there's no wear. Moreover, the movement has a superior 65 hour power reserve, so you can wear this one intermittently with other watches in a rotation without worrying about it running down overnight. It also features a free sprung escape, or a free sprung balance, I should say, so that shocks will not displace a regulating index and change the timing of the watch as they could on a conventional non-free sprung regulator. So JLC designed this movement for the way people wear sports watches today, namely with abandon and all the time. Also, in the name of shock resistance, JLC's own in-house hairspring design, albeit built for them by Longa of Saxony, yes, that Longa, JLC's sister company, is welded at the stud and the collet, so again, shock and displacement can't move the orientation of that component within the balance and change the timing of the watch. Unidirectional winding on a rotor that's suspended on ceramic, unlubricated bearings it's also very durable and very efficient with respect to its winding system. So all that material science comes together with, with what was known as spire cut gears, a first generation system developed by JLC in collaboration with other watchmakers that reprofiled the gears of the drivetrain to allow them to operate more efficiency. So you have efficiency in the winding system, in the chronograph engagement, and even in the gear train itself. Every part of this movement represents JLC's manufacture savoir faire. So the value you're getting is not just in the quality of the case, the bracelet, and the clasp, which JLC, of course, designs and manufactures in-house. It's also in an innovative, modern, robust, and accurate caliber 750 family series movement that keeps excellent time as per its master 1,000 hours control pedigree. And it looks the business, because when you dive into this dial, you can see the expressive style that JLC introduced during the 2000s with the master compressor family. Now the shape of the indices and the numerals at 12 and 9 are inspired by the classic 1960s Jezier LeCoultre Polaris dive watch, but it's very much its own timepiece. You can see the rotating disc at 9 o'clock for chronograph hours with a stationary index floating in the middle. That's a different way of portraying chronograph time. And you can also see that other elements of the dial, like the sunken radial date, or excuse me, sunken radial minutes indicator at, not at 3 o'clock, the date sort of supplanting the index at 6 o'clock, the texture of the slightly raised printed numerals and indices, and the semi-metallic chapter ring featuring a tachometer scale are all integrated to give this watch depth, character, and a little bit of quirkiness. It's not afraid to be its own thing and have a personality that's distinct from the pack. And that continues in the shape and function of the namesake of the watch, the compressor crowns themselves. Now you can see color-coded, red you're dead, so you can use the functions, but the watch isn't water sealed. But a simple half turn, now white you're tight. That's the genius of the compressor crowns. With a minimal turn, you can lock the watch, seal it for 100 meters, 330 feet, and then once again, you can access its functions just like that. Now it's a fully enabled chronograph. I can wind, I can set, and I don't have to worry about wearing out the seals by threading the crowns in and out because it's a toroidal system where the compressor simply compresses a donut-shaped seal rather than actually threading a threaded stem or a threaded fitting through the seal. So not just more convenient and easier to use when your hands are sweaty or wet or gloved, but it also allows the watch to retain its watertight integrity longer between services. This was a watch that was different in every respect. From the way it was styled, to the way it was designed, to the movement inside, it's all JLC, and it's definitely 
the product of a company that can do it all in-house and marches to its own drummer. A truly original achievement, something of a classic already. This watch was called by its designer, a young woman named Magali Mitraillet, actually only in her 20s when she started with JLC. This watch was called her favorite model she ever designed for the company. She designed both the Extreme Lab 1, the Extreme Lab 2, all of the Amvox models up to the Amvox 3, as well as all of the original Master Compressor and Master Compressor divings. So you got it straight from her. This was her favorite, and it is considered to be among the picks of the litter. You can see this historic, emerging modern classic, the Jezier Lecoultre Master Compressor Chronograph, on our website, watchyouwant.com.